Yo, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy T Rory Man back with another video for you guys today. And today's another episode of Detroit's Sports Hub. Um, and by the way, the current place I'm in, I am going to be moving out of pretty soon, just so you guys know. So don't be surprised if you see like a different background uh, sometime in June. So, anyways. Um, you know, I'm gonna do everything in my power to get out of here by the deadline that I that I have. But and enough about that. Um let's see. So today is all about the all-star race at Texas Motor Speedway. And I am basing everything off of what I heard from Erica Step, and that is because I haven't seen any race highlights yet, so it makes it kind of tricky, but I mean, Erica sets has pretty good insights, so, and he was at the track, so he'll be posting a vlog from that, which will be cool. Anywho's, um, so there's four stages, um, yeah, yeah, the all-star race is set up differently compared to most races. Same with the Coke 600, I'm pretty sure the Coke 600 has four stages as well. Anywho's, so Kyle Busch won stage one. Austin Jindrick won stage two, and then Joey Logano won stage three, and Ryan Blaney was your race winner. And we'll talk about the finish in a moment. Um, from the sounds of things, it looks like the racing was not all that great. Um, the only thing that kind of saved it was uh, Kyle Larson had an issue earlier in the race, and then Kyle Busch had an issue, and Rush had a collision with Frost Chastain, and ultimately collect the chase selling the process as well. So unfortunately those guys um, did not have a great night, but uh, Team Penske pretty much had the best night. Um, they, yeah, they were hanging up near the front pretty much the entire race, which is, which is what kind of killed the vibe I and mean, killed the racing because you pretty much could not pass very much I mean, at all. Um, but I guess uh, Blake Shelton was there, so... Yeah, it's, I mean, it sounded like if you were at the track, then you, then you had a good time. But I guess the race was shredded on social media, which, uh, that, that, that's definitely not good. Um, but I feel like they're gonna end up moving the All-Star Race af after... <laughs> after what went down last night, um, away from Texas Motor Speedway. Um, I mean, I know Texas is required to have two dates, but Texas Motor Speedway, um, thankfully, this is the first bad intermediate race that we've had. Um, but, I mean, NASCAR is trying to help the racing in Texas, and and they tried to, yeah, they tried to throwing, like, cautions here and there just to keep things a little bit tight. But what they did to Ryan Blaney when uh, when the race was basically over, I mean, was was over, that was not cool, in my opinion. Um, and I know it definitely made people frustrated for sure. Um, I, I don't think NASCAR should have done that. And Blaney almost got penalized, but I guess he was still behind the wheel. I mean, he was still behind the wheel, which uh, saved him. <laughs> um, but, um, and of course, out of the All-Star Open, which I'll talk briefly about that, um, Suarez, I mean, yeah, Stenhouse, Busher, and Suarez all advanced from the All-Star Open, plus Eric Jones got the fan vote, so, yeah. Um, actually, Kozlowski and Busher finished inside the top 10, as well as A.J. Amendinger. Uh Suarez finished in the top five, so props to him. Um, definitely need a little bit of momentum, for sure considering his teammate already has two wins. <laughs> um, but yeah, the All-Star Race was not all that eventful, and the finish was a little weird. Um, but I mean, congrats to Ryan Blaney for winning the million dollars. Um, even though they had to, even though they threw a silly caution flag and didn't let the race end but, but uh, yeah, let's get wrap up today's videos. Today's video of Troy Sports Hub, and with that being said, 
Have a blessed day, everyone.